More than 200 chapters. People have been waiting for this, and that is for it to be the season of Leopold. Leopold moving up and taking up a good spotlight of uh, this whole fight. And even though it's not the, the big portions of the arc, just him getting to open with his own scene was fantastic. And hey, I, I guess, uh, you know, what looks to be his big thing. I was like, okay, I'm guessing high temperature or, uh, you know, or AoE would be like a, a pretty good thing for him. Because that's one thing we didn't really have uh, in Black Clover. Like we had characters that had some AoE spells, like some pretty sizable AoE ones. And obviously you had, uh, you know, fully unleashed Patri and you had Julius. But I mean, you can't really count them when they're you know, near the top of the characters we know. I mean, I'm, Patriot's not, like, a top tier. I, I'd still put him up there. But, you, you know what I mean, where he's still... Well, that's the, the charged-up one. So the charged-up one, you know, sure, if he's able to do something that big. But you know what I mean, where it's like, yeah, those are characters who are really big on the list. We, we didn't have anything for characters who were just... Oh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, I just have big AoE spells. Because even, like, a lot of the captains don't really have it, except for, uh, I mean, if you count Dorothy, like, she's got her thing. Um, but other than that, like, the characters don't have much in terms of just, like, oh, yeah, widespread, just kind of area cover. There's some pretty sizable attacks, but definitely nothing like this, nothing to the kind of, like, level that I'm referring to. But Leopold, uh, Leopold's on the way for that, which is going to be really cool, because this is going to give Leopold his own kind of unique style within the series. But now we have, like, this uh, second member of the Dark Disciples for Vanica's team, and... Uh, you know, it's got the eyeball magic, so it looks like the the predictions are pretty pretty spot on. Where all of the members of Annika's crew are gonna have similar magic. You had Sven King with skin magic. We saw the the other two that looked like like nail magic and hair magic, and then you got like eyeball magic. So I'm guessing they're all gonna have some like bodily thing, and maybe that will be what you know leads up to reveal of the you know the dark triad's main magic. Because it seems like, you know, they're all going to have two magics based off of what they had and what the devils give them. But this guy, he's, he's got his eyeball magic and he's essentially using it like he has these eyeballs as like scouts to, uh, you know, to see and, you know, just to kind of like get a large scale vision of what, uh, you know, his environment. You know, it, we don't know. I don't think it's like a straight distance stated, but I imagine, you know, he, he's got at least a good couple hundred meters just based off of uh, the paneling that we've seen. And how he's able to, how he's able to pretty him also like on top of just like see he can see like magic amount and stamina. I think that's pretty cool. And he's able to kind of like, oh, let's see, he's able to kind of predict his, uh, what he's going to do based off like stuff with his muscles. That's a, uh, I feel like that's kind of like on that road or that low key road to, to key sensing if he's able to do that. that. That's pretty cool. And it just, it would be really neat if you had a character like that, even if it, you know, really low level, if it's like, oh yeah, that. You know, even though I'm a pretty weak character, it makes sense that I would develop something like key sensing along, uh, you know, along my skill set. But it, maybe he's got like a low amount level of it, but it, nothing that would be like considerably noted as key sensing, you know. I don't know. Either way, not a big deal. Just as a, 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 a something I saw and I'm like, yeah, it'd be pretty cool if, uh, you know, if given the fact that he does have it. But uh, either way, um, it would be cool to see uh, to see. Leo learned key sensing just because it you know added on to his large scale AOE and it was like if he's able to do that and combine them to sense people that'd be pretty sick but he's uh you have a flashback with Foga and there is a like note on exactly what's been troubling him what's been the issue for him because he has you know two very powerful siblings both ranked above him and they they kind of like weigh on his mind he's like every you, Fog is like, you know, there, there's something about when you're fighting that you have, like, this hesitation behind it. And Leopold is, like, discussing, you know, uh, with my siblings, I think I always have just this kind of thing in the back of my head, thinking how strong they are and thinking of how much, like, the, the gap is between us. No matter how strong I get, I, I just manage to see that gap even more so. Uh, you know, it's it's really interesting to think about with his further progression and, like, learning about, like, more about magic and just getting more adept into, you know, in, into all the different kind of, like, baseline additions to magic, like mana skin and clearly, like, runes and true magic and stuff. He's able to, to kind of get, like, a, a much more realistic understanding of how powerful his siblings are, which is really cool. I like that a lot about uh, Leopold because I, I mentioned before with the, the characters set up right now to fight, 
Leo's was the his was the most intriguing uh, to me just because he's been a character that's been around for so long but we haven't really seen him do anything and we got a hint a little bit when uh, uh, you know during the Elf Resurrection arc when he was fighting the Elf that to, took over Randall but he, he wasn't able to fully like access that evolution at that time but now his power has grown and it has like stepped a good like place up when he's talking to Floga and you can tell Floga can understand like you know you're you're probably really just looking at it as you know the the younger brother as these two you need to you need to kind of be yourself you need to find out what makes you you and kind of harness that and just be Leo and after that point Leopold just kind of gets his uh gets his magic ready uses profound spiral flames shoots that big fire uh, like beam like big old hurricane twisting attack right at him doesn't make it all the way there but when the the dude is shooting him and i i do really like his uh i really like his devil power design just in the way that like his the the black kind of energy is going from his wings up his arms into like his finger you know with his whole kind of like style as being a sniper i just thought that was really neat and then with like the part that's around the eyes, I, I think that was a really cool kind of way to uh, to integrate this guy's like setup to, to hint at his powers. I just thought that was really cool. But Leo is like trying his attacks; it's not working. But it turns out he was pretty much, he was he was doing it in order to keep the guy distracted because he was laying out his runes and just kind of like getting all crafted. And one thing to really note, one thing to really note, I think, just when thinking about this spell is if he can manipulate uh, the natural mana and runes to this scale, it makes me wonder once he gets like a further control of mana, like base rooted, uh, kind of just at uh, at a level of eventually locking mana zone, would he be able to have a mana zone this big? Like it would just make sense to me if he's able to put runes down at this size, at this distance, then he probably once he gets mana zone will be able to do that because I think it'd be really cool when you think about uh, I, I assume that with all three of the Vermilion's learning monozone, even further with, like, their style, you already have Mariliona's and her kind of, like, relentless way that she uses it to move around and fight. Uh, with Fuego Leon and the and the Great Fire Spirit, he could learn uh, Spirit Dive. And with Leo, it would just be cool to see large-scale AoE. And especially with his, uh, his, his profound Spiral Flames, he'd be able to shoot it from just all directions and just completely, like, engulf that whole area and just, like... Oh yeah, I, I get it's a linear beam, but what happens if it's coming at you from multiple directions and it's just, you know, turning into this crazy game of dodge while, you know, not getting hit by uh, these other large AoE moves. Because once he, like, drops his Crimson Eruption, he's just large-scale heat and flames, just like the, the trees are on fire around him, the guy's, like, getting burnt up, and he's, he's like, freaking out because he's talked about earlier how he never really felt pain and he never got wounded on the battlefield. And Leo has a really good line in there, too, is when he goes up, you know, he finds him, he's able to, to get in that range and land an attack on him. He's, you know, he's like, if you're prepared, if you're not prepared to get hurt, then stay off of the battlefield. I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty, like, solid thing. Because, yeah, if you are not mentally constructed enough to do something as serious as, you know, go into a battle like that, then you're going in super unprepared. And it shows with the, the kind of gap between them is Leo was, you know, he straight up knew, I gotta take these attacks, I gotta take some pain, I gotta take some damage in order to get my stuff set up. And so when you look at, like, the two characters, you have this other dude, uh, what was his name? I objected to scroll back. So it, it mentions his name, like, I think once. I think his name was Savoir. Uh, I think that's what he said his name was. I'm just looking really quick to try and figure out uh, where it was. Where did he say his name was? Yeah, it's uh, Savoir. So, like, this dude, Savoir, he was not ready in any mindset to take hits, take damage in order to win this fight. Whereas Leo was like, yeah, I'm going on the battlefield, you know, I'm going to get hurt. It's going to happen more than likely. That just kind of happens when you're on a battlefield. You, you end up, you know, getting roughed up by your opponent. It, it, if you don't have that mindset going in, then you're going to get, you know, surprised and jumped and you're going to get in a bad spot. And I just like that, even though this dude was not a big character... You're able to, to give him, like, a meaningful fight while also having some, uh, you know, underlined meaning, but, like, between the two characters and their mindsets for this. So, good stuff. I, I'm i really happy about this. What's funny is, like, we would have gotten the episode on Tuesday, like, last Tuesday, that would probably, like, you know, it'd be further Leopold run, but 
now we gotta wait for the anime to come back after you know that curt hiatus that a lot of stuff is on because of the whole corona shit but this means that afterwards we're still gonna get some more leopold so leopold season is still going we're gonna get some more up there and after all the people that have been hating on leopold not thinking he was gonna be able to do it let's just know let them know what uh, you know where this went and the magna haters are next up on the board because magna is the other character who's always been getting always been getting a bad kind of like uh bad rep with the the fandom always treating him pretty bad leopold's was more of like hey when are you gonna do something come on man he's poking him with a stick we need you to do something meanwhile uh while with magna or sorry with with magna it's more of like you know that he gets kind of looked down upon a lot in terms of like his magic and stuff but i think that's going to change when we see what he does to become more powerful i'm guessing magic weapons it's going to be armed up to the teeth anyway other than that uh comment below good chapter like i said it was, it was very fun i like seeing uh, the i almost said luck the whole new style for leopold uh, i just think it's gonna be really cool he, he's, he's like a lion hunting at this point you know, his, his monozone is his hunting grounds, and he's able to use this these large-scale heat attacks, figure out, like, where his opponent is, and then track him down, and, you know, lays attacks on him. So, good stuff there. Other than that, I really appreciate comment below. Thumbs up the video, but friend the like button and subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But other than that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed, and I thank you all for listening. Bye.